Hello everyone and welcome to my vlog. I'm vlogging now because I'm in Bali. I, well, Craig and I got here yesterday morning. The flight to Bali was about six hours and it was fine. And then um, I had one little like iffy thing happen when I was going through immigration in Bali. I like got through, well actually I have to like recap. When we first got on the plane, the stewardess came up to us and was like, oh, your seat's not actually available. There's a stain on the seat and we can't get it off. So we have to move you to another seat. So she took our tickets from us and she put us in a new seat and we were all good to go and everything. And then when we we're going through immigration, I gave the guy my passport and then he's just like, where's your boarding pass? And I'm like, I don't have it. Like the stewardess has it. And he just sat there and he was just like, nah, nah. And then it took like about five minutes for me to get through immigration, came out. And then I talked to Craig and he's like, the guy didn't even ask me for my... Yeah, then it was about a two hour drive to where we were staying. We flew into Denpasa and then we were staying at Padang, 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 Padang Bay, Padang Bay, Padang Bay one of them and um the accommodation that we had was amazing i'll do like a quick tour of what i did i did not feel much at all because like i said i was completely buggered But now we're on Gilly T. We took a boat this morning to get here and it was about an hour and a half to our fast boat from Padding Bay to here. And oh my gosh, this place is unbelievable. It is, it's just amazing. Like the ocean is so clear and blue and green and everything. We're staying at an Airbnb that we found. I think it was about like $80 a night and it's amazing. Ready? I'm going to do like a little tour of the airbnb so you can see what it looks like here's our front door which okay this is just like how we walk in i've already unpacked we're here for three days so how good is it when you can actually unpack and in here is our bathroom me in the mirror right there yes just like every other bathroom looks like and then um here's where we sleep but then here is our veranda. They're having like a call of prayer at the moment. Apparently Giggly does that like every hour or so. So yeah, but this is our veranda or balcony. So we've got a little cooking station there, which we probably won't use because it is bloody hot. And then this is the view. How amazing is this? And look, they've got like horse cart, horse driven carriages here. We haven't used them and I don't think we're going to use them just because it's so hot and I just feel so sorry for the horses, but yeah. And there's so many cats everywhere. Like, look over here. Ready? Cats. Just everywhere. But yeah, we're going to have some lunch now. Um, we have a little, like, David thing here. So it, we're about to go get some lunch and then I think we might get some bikes and do a little bike around the island just to tour it because I think it's like a two-hour round trip. I didn't even show you the ocean. We'll go see the ocean. And yeah, because we're starving. Welcome to Bali. You're not in Bali. You're, hmm? you're not in Bali anymore. Welcome to Gilly Tea, not Bali. <laughs> Welcome to Indonesia. All right, so Craig and I did like a full on bike ride around this whole island today and we sweated our balls off and I did not take the camera with me. I wish I should, I probably should have, but I was just like paranoid because I didn't know what we were gonna do. I was like, are we gonna go in the swimming? Are we gonna go in the swimming? Are we gonna go swim in the ocean and leave our bag or not? Like we wanted to take as little as we could. And it was a trek and a half. Like the first, or oh, I'd say 10 minutes of the drive, drive, ride was fine because we were on like normal kind of bitumen road and then we got to like the sand part and we had to just roll and ride with our bike like walk beside the bike and that was it but it was amazing like this island is amazing and hopefully it clears up my skin because apparently it's breaking up it is seriously the greenest and bluest ocean i've ever seen it's probably oh, it's clear, not as, it's not as clear as the Whitsundays or Ely Beach, but it is bluer. It is such a vibrant blue. So it's 
yeah, it's like the most vibrant ocean I've ever seen. But when we went trying to go swimming before, there's a lot of coral on the ground and it's just like, you, it takes a lot of effort to get out there and the ocean is so hot, it's like bath water. So we didn't really go swimming, but we went to like this, um, there was a restaurant on the other side of the island where if you spend a minimum of like literally $15, you could use their pool facilities as well. We just got two bintangs and then that was it. That was probably like, I'd say it was about seven or six dollars for the two bin tanks so we didn't even pay the minimum and we just tipped them the rest so we didn't want to feel bad but I don't think it's tourist season here at the moment so there's not that many people over here it would be crazy to see what this is like at tourist season because it's just such a I don't even know like I feel like we'd have to definitely come back at tourist season just to see how it is but anyway there is a horse coming can you hear that yeah there's so many horses all the time I feel so sorry for them though because they're so skinny and then sometimes the load that they're carrying is a lot and then you can just see them struggling and I'm like it's hot these poor horses I just want to like spray them with ice cold water yeah okay well I will talk to you guys later where is my lens cap because I probably do need that just had the best hour of our life <laughs> as you can see we just got a massage and it was amazing Craig did as well and he's got the lines as well and it was like everything we needed it was a full body massage for about 30 dollars for an hour i think yeah so now we're just getting our bikes and we're going out for dinner and i think we're gonna get something pizza-ish but how cool are these little alleyways as well like this is the alleyway we went down and then we went down over there so refreshed and so liney <laughs> and so nasally look at him I'll get out the photo. It's a hammock, so we're gonna do another photo on that too. Thanks, Craig. <laughs> He's loving life. The tide is a bit high and I'm moving on. I'm gonna get a bit sat for this photo. It's probably gonna look like a massive fail, but I think it might be worth it maybe. We'll see. Could be an epic fail. We literally just got stuck in the biggest downpour ever. We were out for dinner and we're having shisha on the beach and then the guy's like, oh, it's probably time to go inside. And so we've gone inside and it's bucketing it so much. Like, look at this. It is literally like going for gold. And it was like probably just above, just below knee deep I reckon when we're walking and it's just so intense this has happened in the past like 20 minutes and it's just going for gold but it's good that it's raining at night time rather than during the day because during the day in this would be like hectic as but like there's thunder as well it's pretty insane it's so loud wow <laughs> dreading what tomorrow's gonna look like hey eh? Gonna have a shower because I think our balcony is actually leaking a bit. Oh, we're leaking a bit. Oh my god. <laughs> Two, three. Can you help me find a way? 